art store today, the music store, the grocery store, the gas store, and now we're ready to hit the road for reals. So we're heading out from Winnipeg now and our next stop is Clear Lake. So we'll see what that's all about when we get there. at 110. 110. I like fast highways. Can rip in the prairies. So we're just pulling into Clear Lake. Our van's telling me to be safe. And I think we found the place where we're gonna stay the night. Found this crazy smooth path here. And here we are pulling up to a lookout spot. It's cruising, we're exploring a little here. Oh, I'm driving off the road. Fans. What's up, fans? Uh, <laughs> this light makes me look really white. You are white. Oh. Welcome to our home. Hey, how's it going? My name's Phil, and today we're taking a crazy trek hike about 14 kilometers total. Hopefully, we're going to be able to find some kind of a bald looking hill. We don't know if we're going to find it or not, and it's a lot of weight to carry and just wander into the forest in the woods. So, we're way up north here in uh, Manitoba, and now we're way deep in the bush, hoping bears don't approach from any direction. We had to eat our lunch in the van just to be safe. And uh, now I'm just tweaking the drum a little bit before we hit the trails because we've got tools here. Then we're going to hit the trail and hopefully find a cool bald looking hill. I'm just pretending I'm in the army. Like World War II, if people got forced to go to war and carry bajillions of pounds of weight on their back, then I can sure as heck do it myself. Here we have Jess too as well, really MVPing the way here, backwards walking through this trail to tape it. She's also got all the mics on her back. So here we come, army style, make it happen. All right, so we're at 1.4 kilometers and I'm starting to get a good sweat going, a little sweaty. Then we came across this mountain biking bank turn and I thought, wow, I just can't pass that up. I'm gonna try and run around on this thing without wiping out. How you feeling? I feel great. At the 1.4 mark? Feeling good. Yeah? I just like, I just walked right beside him there. Feet, 10 feet. <laughs> I, was, I heard rustling and then I was like, oh shoot. That is a bear. I think we're good. That was a huge, huge black bear. <laughs> I'm probably shaking holding this camera. <laughs> so after our bear sighting, we've had to come up with a new plan, so Phil is playing a snare drum. I realize I have really loud instruments with me, <laughs> and bears don't like loud noises, and so, so now we're playing actual army beats as we walk through the forest, like left, 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 right, left. And I have my keys and I'm jingling them like crazy. You don't realize how big bears are. Until they're until right. Until you're this close to one. <laughs> okay, onward, here we go. The worst part about the bear sighting is that we have to walk right by where we saw it <laughs> to get out of the woods. This is like backcountry hiking, like... Oh man, every time we see a big stack of poop, I'm like freaked right out. We're summiting. We're summiting. We've... It's been a steady incline. For quite a while. <laughs> We've gotten over, I think, our freaked outness about the bear. Kind of come down. Our adrenaline levels are dropping. Which is not great for this. For the hill. <laughs> we really booked it in that last. I think that might be the fastest I've ever hiked four kilometers. <laughs> we are still summiting. Oh my gosh, we've been summiting for probably... 45 minutes. 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't have enough energy to say anything. Hopefully we find a bald mountain at the top of this. Let's put it this way, if we don't find a bald mountain, I'll put my butt in the air and we can pretend it's a mountain. And we'll call it Bald Butt Mountain. It's actually called Bald Hill, but I'm not. <laughs> Feels like a mountain. <laughs> we made it. And it's amazing. Like, this is the weirdest, coolest mountain ever. There's like the plains over there. You can just see for miles. This is not what 
This the mountain is made out of like Shale? Like Gravel? dust. Yeah, like really loose dusty kind of gravel. And look at how quickly it cuts off. So here. And then it just goes down. Crazy mountain. Like you would fall and hurt yourself right Real there. Because <laughs> this rock would just cut you to pieces. <laughs> Fortunately, there's this little flat part. So I think we're going to do a video right here. So cool. So hard to get to. Yeah. We're but worth it. Definitely. All right. Have you recovered from that hike yet? I'm feeling the burn in my shoulders. Yeah, me too. And I wasn't carrying a bag of steel. We're gonna disturb some nature, unfortunately. We're gonna scare some bears. Sorry. I might pull I... it back a little further. It's a little bit flatter right here. Hiked it, have to hike more. All the way back. I'm so tired. Thanks for watching. That's a wrap on this amazing, amazing cliff top mountain ball place. And we're gonna pack this up, hit the road, and hike another six kilometers. Hopefully we